Uh, hello guys yeah so uh, uh recently i've been hearing this buzzword about chat uh, i think it's called chat gpt i'm not really sure yeah it's chat gpt so a lot of buzzword has been going around this and open ai and all that you have done so i got really curious and i decided like to do a bit of uh, research into it and uh, look at what guys online are talking about so i really found uh, i didn't really build anything with open uh, chat uh, gpt i will do that in the future near future i'm still researching and working on it but uh, one thing i did i found out through my research is something really, really interesting so uh, i i i found out that you can actually talk with the open ap open ai apis and you can actually interact with their own uh, their their ais basically you can interact with the artificial machine uh, like they have an api that you can interact with so i actually build a simple project around interacting with the api and I tried to like uh, do some things with this. So I, I found out these two really cool things that I think I should just share with you guys. I'll be making a video on how to build this up here in the, uh, I think next week, by next week I should have the video ready. But uh, what I really found out at this subject that I'm gonna show you in this video is you can, you can really do cool things. For example, I, act I can actually write code actually without, just by telling the AI what code I want to write, the AI can go ahead and generate the code for me. I don't have to write it the code myself. So let me just show you what I mean. So I'm just gonna say, uh take a user input let me just say user input in uh c plus plus okay c plus plus so i can go down here i can just say uh write c plus plus program right so you can see write c plus plus program so i can just go ahead and click on submit this is going to take some time and it's going to uh have a back end application this is the front end so the back end application is going to make a request to the open ai api and it's going to get back the response and return the front end so you can see just by uh, me writing take user input in C++ and give it, giving it an instruction to write a C++ program, you can see it actually wrote a C++ program that takes in user. It actually takes in, it just outputs user information. It's uh, basically output user information. It doesn't actually take the user input. Sometimes the AI goes wrong sometimes. So if you can go ahead and let me try to submit again. Let's see what the AI gives me this time around. So, uh, the, the AI gave me this time around, gave me uh, something wrong. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a submit again. But sometimes it really gives you good, good output. So you can let me just check again. Uh, maybe this time the AI got it correct. So yeah, now this time the AI got it correct. Actually, it just printed out some things. It didn't actually take user input. Okay, so it actually printed out some things. But sometimes the AI is actually really smart and it's able to generate your code. So for example, let's just ask the AI to print, uh, print hello world. Uh, in python so like this like that and they say write a python uh write python program just like that and i'm going to go ahead and click on submit let's see what the ai go, goes ahead and generate. so he told the ai to generate a, a, a hello world program in python uh, basically what he simply did he wrote for us a for loop basically so the ai is, uh, is still struggling but it's uh sometimes it gives really good outputs but sometimes in okay now we can see this it gets hello world in python right in python uh, let's say python uh python program right so that, that's basically it can output uh different uh different information sometimes it's really really accurate for example i can tell you just say hello hello uh, hello, uh, let's say let's translate this to French. So translate to French. So I have translate to French and I can translate it So hello in French actually so once I say translate uh, hello in French and I press submit You can see it returns to me bonjour and bonjour just basically means uh, hello in French or so, something like that So you can see actually really smart. I can even translate this to Swahili which is a language I speak Okay, so Swahili if I translate into Swahili, I am actually, I'm actually going to get the Swahili translation uh, Let's see what we get back from the eye. So I just say hello which is actually wrong in swahili but yes yeah, so, sometimes the ai can be actually correct but sometimes can be wrong and one thing also one cool part of the ai you can actually generate images just by te texting in words to the api to the uh, ai basically so let's say generate um let's say man man on mars right so let's say man on mars and let's just submit that and let's see what well, i'm really interested in to see what the ai is going to generate so this is going to take a bit of time because you're requesting for a larger image so the AI is going to generate an image of a man on mars or something a man about something related with a man and the planet mars basically so let's wait and see uh what the ai generates so let's just wait and you can see uh, it actually generated a picture of mars and actually a man on mars so this is really really smart at times and i'm really just curious about it so it's really interesting that you can just simply give the ai what you basically anything that you think and the ai can go ahead and generate an actual image so you can see this is on mars the red planet and you can see man 
is on Mars. So it's really really crazy. So I just thought I did a short video uh to show this to you guys. But I'll make this I'll make a video on this later on uh in upcoming uh soon. I think by next week I should have the video ready. Uh probably by next week I should upload a video. So yeah, that's basically what I just wanted to talk to you guys about. So uh if you don't if you can check out the open AI documentation. But uh at the end of the day my, my aim is just to uh start working with open uh, chat J jpt so if you guys have any comment about chat uh, chat uh, jpt or know anything about it let me know in the comment section below uh, maybe we can create a project together or come up with a fun idea to create a project on so yeah thank you and uh, see you in the next one keep safe